Hi, I'm Jason Mears and this is Public Cloud for VMware Users 106 and this is a recap of all the topics we covered in Level 100. So we're going to go through all of the slides at the end of each section or end of each uh, uh, video in the series. The elevator pitch ones, which was a very quick summary of the things we learned previously in the in the course or the video. So the first one we came across was what is cloud computing? And a, a reasonable answer to that is that cloud computing resources, sorry, what you could describe that is, is say that cloud computing resources or services that are managed by a third party and accessed on demand from multiple locations over the internet on a pay-as-you-go or reserved basis. The next thing we covered was a VPC and what is a VPC? Um, it's a virtual private cloud and a VPC is a logical grouping of compute, storage and network resources that can optionally be connected to other cloud services or networks. We then covered IAM. IAM is Identity and Access Management and what we said about that is that IAM can control which users, networks and other cloud services can communicate with each other. And a hint for that one was if you find that difficult to remember, remember the phrase I am allowed, you are not allowed. The I am being at the start, so I am allowed, you are not allowed. Just an, an easy way of remembering that if you struggle with acronyms. Um, the next thing we covered in the workload section is what is a VM? Well, a VM is a virtual machine and it consists of the application itself, any dependencies and the operating system squashed down into a virtual machine. So that was a, that's a VM. The next one was what is a container? So this is an application that's been packaged for a container runtime such as Docker. So the, the name for the technology is a container runtime. The most widely known one is one called Docker. Um, it consists of the application and any dependencies, but importantly, a container does not contain the operating system itself. The container runtime manages that operating system component of it. The next thing we then talked about was what is a function? And we said that a function is a small piece of computer code that can perform one particular task independently. And the whole point of this is it consists of just enough code to perform the task itself. And that runs on a platform the industry calls serverless. Um, it's a badly named technology because it, um, serverless code does run on a server. It's just that the end user either can't see it or is not aware of it. But you can be sure that somewhere in the deep dark depths there is a server actually running that code. It's just that the user doesn't have any interaction with it. We had a little bit of a quiz on this, which was who owns and operates GCP? Who owns and operates AWS? And who owns and operates Azure? the three largest public cloud providers. And the next question was, what is VCF? It's the VMware Cloud Foundation, which is a bundle of VMware products that can form the basis of a private cloud, hybrid cloud, and multi-cloud environment. What is VMC on something? It's the VMware Managed Cloud, that means it's owned and managed directly by VMware and a partner. For example, VMC on AWS is the VMware managed cloud on AWS hardware in an AWS data center. Next one is what is VCPP? It's the VMware Cloud Provider Program. This means it's owned and managed by one of just over 4,300 other VMware partners worldwide. So a good example of that would be something like um, the uh, Azure VMware solution uh, where VMware provide the software, but Microsoft provide the hardware and the hosting uh, for it. And that brings us to the end. So that is the end of the recap um, in this series, which was only meant to be a very uh, light or brief introduction. We did an introduction to cloud computing itself. We covered compute and services. Uh, that you would find in a cloud provider. We covered different types of workload. That was VMs, containers, and serverless. We then covered public cloud offerings, so the different services available from Amazon, Google, and Microsoft Azure. 
we then covered VMware Cloud Foundation and the different ways that that can be deployed and then this video which was the level one 100 recap so this was just a very simple uh, introduction to cloud computing thank you very much for your time and I hope you found that useful